Yeah, so we use three different warpage metrology techniques. The most popular is called Shadow Moray. And Shadow Moray is, uh, is a full field optical white light uh, technique that we can capture a few million data points for, for Z height and flatness uh, in just a couple of seconds. Uh, so that's the primary uh, solution for warpage metrology. We also do digital fringe projection, uh, which we use on discontinuous surfaces for the same type of warpage metrology. And we also do digital image correlation, or DIC, which is a, a strain measurement in the CTE, so an in-plane uh, type of metrology as well, that are modules, essentially. Warpage inherently comes from CTE mismatch of materials. So we know that things are going to expand as we heat them and they're going to expand at different rates depending on the materials themselves. So you know, your, your PCB designers need to consider that in their design. Uh, and while the expansion itself is the cause, there are other variables that can contribute to how it comes out in terms of warpage, how uniform your heating is, the way the heat spreads. Uh, how you support the, the, the sample, other variables like that uh, can also play in. Reduction is often a hard variable to track down because we know the things that can change the warpage. A lot of times which ones are going to reduce the warpage actually requires a bit of testing. So if you change how you support, you change your copper balancing, even things that wouldn't essentially jump out uh, to affect warpage like if you're doing a panel the, the module, the, the breakout tabs and where you place them on the six up can actually affect warpage. Uh, whether it affects in a positive or a negative light in terms of what you need to, to assemble really requires testing to, to find typically. A lot of people we see using pallets certainly now. Uh, in that space, uh, you certainly have to be careful about a few variables. Uh, one being temperature uniformity, uh, the construction of the pallet matching well with um, how the, the board is going to move. So if you add, uh, say, titanium plates or different things to improve your rigidity of the, uh, the pallet itself, you're also going to potentially have issues with that heat getting ahead uh, of the pallet, especially for, for larger structures. Uh, so the port support method uh, can be critical, certainly, um, and we, we try to mimic that in our tools. Uh, again, it's one of those things where you really have to test to understand what the effect will be. Uh, and then certainly on the pallet side, you can't restrict the movement of the structure too much. So if you, if you lock everything down, if you clamp it down, if you pin it down, then you heat it, you know, that, that movement's gonna gotta go somewhere. Uh, so uh, there's definitely, definitely different variables to consider in, in how you're going to hold what you're going to assemble. Yeah. So our, our product development moves, moves fairly quickly. We do uh, you know, a couple of software releases every year, which are, are pretty heavy feature uh, dependent. But uh, we actually brought a new tool uh, to the show uh, this week. So traditionally we do at temperature warpage. Uh, primarily with shadow moraine and then we'll have the other other techniques added in but uh, one of the things we wanted to give to our customer base and and to our expanding customer base hopefully is a lower end tool that just does warpage at room temperature uh, so we bought uh, brought uh, what we call our TTSM for tabletop shadow moraine tool uh, to the show today so it's a 300 by 310 millimeter field of view uh, no oven, like our other tools often have, uh, and it just does shadow moray and warpage at room temperature. So it's as simple as you basically load, load samples in the drawer, put it in there, push the button, it takes about two seconds, you've got millions of data points of surface metrology. Uh, so you could do that for a wafer, uh, you could put a couple of JDEC trays in there, pop those in, get your topology of everything in one shot, and all that data can be processed and reported on, all with a very short, uh, short time.